ndoro ba kuri zban nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Prince Badru abareke do mugugu omuzibugo kweti kula atukirizo muri mugo kubaga amanti muyegatte mubere bumu kakati muri mugwa mwe okuberanga mujuza ekigambe ekyo kiyabagamba ekyo kwegatta Welcome to Owanapedia, the one-stop center for Uganda's history, although we never neglect the history of the rest of the world. My name is Tony Geoffrey Owana, and behind the camera, as usual, is my young friend Herbert Semiano, making things happen. Today is the 24th of April, and when we delve back into our history, we remember the death and burial of an illustrious son of the country, Omulangira Badru Kakunguru. Badru Kakunguru was the father of the illustrious Omulangira Kasim Nachibinge Kakunguru of Chiguri, who is also styled Jaja Usiram of Uganda. The title doesn't come easy. His father also bore the same title and he was uncle to Sekabaka Sir Edward Mutesa who is the father of Sarasajja Ronald Mwenda Motevi. Omulangira Kasim Nachilinge's grandfather, the late Omulangira Noah Mbogo, after who Mbogo Zone in Kawimpe is named, was the leading light in the establishment of Islam in Uganda and by extension the rest of the country. That's where that title comes from. We have just entered the holy month of Ramadan and permit me to salute the Muslim community in Uganda and the world by saying Salam Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. I urge all the Muslims that when they are breaking the fast they should buy Ugandan Toke Biscuits here is made by the Presidential Initiative on Banana Industrial Development, which is headed by the, the Masoga lady who married the Mchiga and works in Bushenyi, Reverend Dr. Moranga. You punctuate Toke Biscuits with another Ugandan product, which is Wuzima, a product of the National Enterprises Corporation of the UPDF, and of the Ministry of Defense. The establishment is headed by Lieutenant General James Mujira, and the man directly in charge of the water is Brigadier Shiringi. Please buy Ugandan, especially during this period of lockdown, as we concentrate on local initiatives. So today, we are taking you back to the 24th of April, when Umrangira Kakungu was laid to rest. First, he was declared a national hero by the government of the National Resistance Movement, and we only knew the reasons subsequently. So we are taking you to, into Parliament for a glimpse of what was there, after which we shall head to Chiguri, where various speeches were made, including one by Savarangira Besweri Murondo, who has since died, uh, the master of ceremonies was Dr. Sulaiman Chigundu, famous of Bank of Uganda, who has since died. And when the president eventually spoke, the translator was Alhaji Abu Bakar Kachama Mayanja, who has also since died. Owanapedia has to pay special tribute to the presidential press unit which captured this occasion. And to mention David Mutebile who made the running commentary. Let's take you to Chibuli Hill, 24th April, for the burial of Alhaji Badru Kakungu. Yeah. 
الا الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله The body of the late Prince Badru Kakunglu Wasaja was laid to rest Thursday evening, the 25th of April 1991, at Chibuli Mosque. The Prince, who was 84 years at the time of his death, passed away at Chibuli Nursing Home in the evening of Wednesday, 24th April 1991. Prince Kakunglu was declared a national hero by the National Resistance Movement Government and given a state funeral in recognition of his selfless service and contribution to national development. The burial, which was preceded by a special session of the National Resistance Council to honor the foreign prince, was attended by President Yoweri Museveni and his wife, Mrs. Janet Museveni. The occasion was also attended by the Vice Chairman of the National Resistance Movement, Arhaji Moses Chigongo, the Chief Justice, Mr. Justice Wako Wambuzi, Prince George William Mawanda, Cabinet Ministers and religious leaders. The chairman of the Young Men's Muslim Association, Dr. Sulaiman Chigundu, welcomed the president. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take this minute uh, to extend uh, gratitude to His Excellency the President for having spared this minute to come and honor Prince Badru Kakunguru. Your Excellency, I reported before you came in the brief message uh, that you, to Prince Badru, you were indeed one of the sons he has acquired in his late age through wisdom. And he has always referred to you as his son in Entebbe. I have reported, Mr. President, uh, that your parent, our parent and guardians of many, died very peacefully. I have reported that the country, the matters of the country were not one of his concerns in his last minutes. I think that is because of the confidence he had in you that the state matters under your charge were okay. In those minutes he was saying things deep to his heart he did not mention one thing about what are we going to do about our country. And I, I want to take that as a measure of satisfaction about the way things are going. Uh, he did express concern about matters of Islam as a concern. He did express concern about ma matters under the charge of Savataka and matters of Buganda during his minutes. But otherwise, he died peacefully, gracefully, in dignity, maintaining his highest standards in life. In the very last day, he asked the doctors and Hajati that he, want, he wanted to be shaved. And he, they, they shaved him. And those minutes, he was always raising his arm to look at his clock in his weakest hours. And he asked for the dye to do the hair. So uh, for us, uh, we are very thankful to God that he gave this great man a good life. He was able to produce fruits for many. And death comes to all. But if death comes to such a man who has lived such a useful life, dedicated his service to his religion, his country, and his countrymen, we can do no less than say we are extremely grateful to God for that. Sabra Njira Besweri Murondo spoke on behalf of Buganda princes and princesses. Your Excellency, As Sabalangira of the clan of the Balangira in Uganda, I'm speaking on behalf 
of the Barangira and the Bambeja community in this part of the country, of which Prince Badru Kakunguru was a member. Your Excellency, we feel highly honored and we are very grateful and thankful to your government for having deemed it befitting to install a state funeral for our beloved Badru Kakunguru who passed away last evening. Our clan, Your Excellency, has lost a very important member. Everybody present here knows that Buganda had a kingdom until 1966. I report with pride, Your Excellency, that Prince Badru Kakunguru all along acted as a mediator between Mengo and Kampala. And even after the demise of the kingdom, Prince Kakunguru remained a stabilizer. It is through him that many possible upheavals were averted. As for example, when Kasubi tombs were earmarked for destruction during Amini's regime, it is Prince Kakunguru who intervened and averted the catastrophe. As a clan, Prince Kakunguru has been our mediator, and with his his absence, a very big vacuum has been created. We have been running to Prince Kakungulu whenever we had problems, and we always got solutions to our problems. It must, of course, not be forgotten that since the coming to power of your government, Your Excellency, Prince Kakungulu has been one of the key people who have played a very important role in bringing about understanding between the government and the people of Uganda and Uganda at large. As one of the fathers of Islamic faith in Uganda, I am sure the Muslim community of this country have lost a true devout son of the Islamic faith in this country. When his father, Prince Mbogo, died, and all Muslims in this country regarded him as their leader, Prince Kakungulu took over this role and had since been known by many as the leader of the Muslim community in Uganda, although at a later stage several factions came within the faith. As an illustration of his immense contribution to the growth of Islamic faith in Uganda, Prince Kakungulu is known to have given a very big piece of land at Kibuli, here where we are, Your Excellency, where a mosque was, was put up, as you can see in the background, Your Excellency, schools, a hospital, and other community activities were established with his active participation. Your Excellency, sir, as a representative of the Barangira and the Bambeja in Uganda, Prince Kakungulu's death has indeed been a great loss to us, not to mention the Muslim community and the nation at large. We have lost a person very difficult to replace. I would like to take this occasion to thank your government, Your Excellency, for the most sincere, for the sincerely honoring, for the honor bestowed upon Prince Kakungulu, which is, in, is an indication of the recognition of his dedicated service and contribution to the nation. Your Excellency, we would like to thank you very much for having found time to come and attend this burial. Thank you very much. The sermon on the occasion was delivered by Sheikh Dr. Muhammad Kisule. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sera kizibu nyo chetulimu Okubana echi nitu echi ogerwa Muna kwenu echi talo Atine chiba anga chite gere keka Okujia ko Nga katonda kuyambi eko Okufa kwa muna angira badu kakunguru Sikuwe kufa okusose Okufa kwa avulijo Nechi nitu chaba dechi anga anga jufenaje tuli 
No Rachel. Fena tulina chetu kuigam. Enji kiliza yedi ni kucho. Etuga ambani chuo chakula birako. Gasi neva kugenda warambio kugera. Nzijukira bulungi sebo wachiti wa president. Runa kule watu ura wano kutaka wano. Nemuta ambula no muna angira badu kakungu. Nemugenda, nemuteke jinja kuchizi imbe chiri. Habara vechi intuwecho, hati na habara wakati ya chiri wakati. Ndavi radaranga batu kia kuiga chinene nyo, kia kuiga chinene nyo, eribu limutu, ntifena tukende wa mkama kutoni ya tukola. Haba antumu enabali wano mutu nulire. Entambula yomu langira badu kakungu muka kubo kano kemura vanga ingiro kujo kusale juma. Njagaramu kumu waka fana nyako, okuveri wa guro kutuka wano wali kati. Mkubaka fana nyi, ngayani rizaba genji mnyumba ye kati esika denga, teni na njini yo. Okujia kukuba gendo okuji wakati okugamanti ya musika. Na inga njini yo ye njini kajiko rajifudema. Mutunuliroa mtu wabade ye tambuza. Okumula wakati inga ali wano. Basi tula musitule, ama guru kwe gali, ama tu kwe gali. Hamaso kwegali na yobu inza wamu kama katona gabu wamu gambi yente sawa zozi wedeo. Echeo kuiga chinene nyo, chetujia mongeri ngeyo. Ereche okubu ulirira, ili haba antu fena bali wano. Puruani kweche etu gamba, jikulu nafsi nda ikatul mauti. Buli mtu yena yena wakufa. Elana etu gamba, Ndi mutaka mwetu waba kora. Ela mwetu gendo ukubaza. Ate mwetu libajia. Kuna kuruo kuzukiranga kutuuse. Njagada mwenaba mpuliriza. Kumukume mwaka fana nyi. Ngomura angirali wano kusaa welu. Okumeka fana nyi oke jurule. Oke teke kuke njini. Nawe sawa yosengene etu kanguguba siturono obotia. Ela chichi ono tuwale wamu kama au. Ela chichi ono ugenda na choko. Echeo mula angira nga tekina kuwela likiriza kugenda wala. Na hawe kenyini ampuliriza soka wela likire kuruluo. Kumanga iye ongo mula angira. Butufu nulira mubi hafayo. Tulinechi nituje tuigo kufa kuimamu shafi radhi Allahu anu. Hatugamba shafi. Tikadimata kawumun wa mata timakarimu humu. Waasha kawumun wa humu finnasi amuatu. Di mata kaumun wa mata timakarimu humu. Wa asha kaumun wa humu finnasi amu watu. Tia bantu bafa, hila ni bagu wawo. Nibi wako na nibi gu wawo. Ata bantu ni bafa, chuka ni basi garamu bantu nga baramu. Ikintu yunja garafu chigebu yizi. Abantu bafa, hila ni bafi hila dara. Nibi baba anga tebacha jukirwa. Tebali na cheba lese. Tebali na cheba akora. Tibali naka antuko na kwe gambo kwe kufadda luko kukwe la wadala. Ataba antunibafa. Ngo muna angira wafude. Chuka nga mumitima jaba antubachi alibaramu. Batia. Umuntu wabaranti badu wafude. Afude. Chuka mumitima kwa jakusigaranga muramu. Kumango musiki tukwe gunogulaba. Eduali lorioli laba. Ama somero kwa garaba. Bulichu na chiyale kwa uchiraba. Ejo chiku raga, ndi afude. Kwa kufa katunda kwa yara gira, ndi afude. Kyo kamu bantu wa siga denga muramu. Atejo ni chiku teka kebanja kwe ngo mtu. Kolele lo kufa, ofe ngo mbili katulewe kakasa kundi kwa kufa. Kyo kamu bantu wa siga denga uli muramu. Abantu banji bagu wao. Nibagenda okujia kabo. Abale kebi nito yifana kananga kwebiti. Era sebo chiri wa president. Mtuwa la kakisakano. Okweba za mvuntu. Ateno okweba za nga government. Kumanga mula ze. Obwe simbu. No obwe nkanya. Eriaba kulele guange mini mwemiru unji. Chiali bade chakuli aza amanya. Kumini mja badu kakunguru. Na atafuna chitiwa chinechimuwelebwa mugwanga lino. 
No rechu baganda bang. Baganda banga bang puliza. Chino chia kuiga. Eri muri muntu yena yena aliwano. Chia kuiga tu chiga muti tu chiga muti. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya sume sabi amazima. Mutume ya tusome sana agamba. Nti abantu fewa julizi kubantu. Omuntu wa abanga. Murongofu. Akole lela dale ensiye. Ne nkomerero ye. Fetu julira. Ne yese mu president. Kyo kole de badi. Lukabone la kakakasa. Nti abade muntu muda mkunsi. Era jakuba muntu muda mkuna kwa uwe nkomerero. Kubanga ojuli de. Ngo manye biru unji bibi akole dense eno. Noruecho tuze tujulire. Ntio musajyo na abade muno ongofu. Atechi nituwe chile lache tuiga mchini nitu chino. Tuiga mwemi nitu binje nyo. Badi tu abada inemi ni mujakora mupari ya metiba joge deko. Okugataba na Uganda. Okompromisinga kubi nitu. Ewe na abada abikora. Nga chia kuigeri ya fabaramu. Abasigade wu. Kati chia kuigeri ya fabasigade wu. Anya na achikopa achikole. Averenga. Akole de mchigambo chani nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mchigambo anti. Man ahaya sunnatan kadi umitat. Oyo azzo bupia. Mpisa ya nabi. Eba defu de. Oyo. Anaba achikoze. Natambulia mmisinji je. Ajia kubanga azizo bupia. Mkura ya mutu Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Umuna ingira kwa badata ambulira. Echo kudarwe guanga liyona. Ate kuruda raba kwa rezban nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prince Badru abareke do mugugu o muzibu go kweti kura. Abareke do mvuna nyizibwa muzibu go kweti kura. Ye nga muramu ya gamba. Muruchiko le asemba yo okusinka na awa islam. Mumakage wali. Taimu kama nze tu ukirize la kwe mjulizi. Atu ukirizo mwini mgo kubaga amanti muegate muberebu mu. Kakati muli mugwa mwe. Okuwe ranga mujuza echi gambe echo, chiyaba gamba echo kwe gata. Sagara kuonu nabisera. Waku mara yobi intubio na. Wabu na njaka ratu tegele niti fena tugeenda kufa. Ila tuliba kufa. Niyomu ntuwe kube mutima. Bono fono ugeenda na chii. Ila unole kachii. The gist of what Dr. Sheikh Ahmad Kisule, a career diplomat, was saying was that he recalls a time when President Museveni visited the fallen Prince Badru Kakungu and they laid the foundation stone here for a building project. Emphasizing the inevitability of death, Sheikh Ahmad Kisule admonished the mourners to prepare for a joyous life after death by planning a memorable legacy. He said, some die and are completely forgotten, but others like Kakunguru die and are forever reminded in the works they leave behind. Sheikh Ahmad saluted the NRM government for recognizing Kakunguru as a national hero and stressed that it would have been terrible if he was not so recognized. I thank you, President Museveni, for bearing testimony to Prince Kakunguru's greatness. Sheikh Ahmad Kisule said. The master of ceremonies, Dr. Suleiman Chigundu, then invited President Museveni to speak, and he spoke, as you will see in the next segment. Stay with Owanapedia, the one stop center for Uganda's history. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.